Hello and welcome to the War Thunder 1.31 preview. I'm currently on the dev server which is open to the public at the moment so I can make a video and show you the new features. Um, first of all we got a couple of new aircrafts. On the American side um, we got the P-36 A and C which is a land-based fighter very nice to fly. But somehow, well, the land-based version of the F2A, I would say, it's easy to fly, has a good vision, armed with machine guns, heavy and light machine guns, lots of ammunition, it's maneuverable, fast, very fast for this, for this rank. Um, in spite of this, we have a new P-47, P-47D28, which is a little bit faster, but heavier, um, so you cannot turn that well as in the normal P-47D. We also have a new P-51, uh, the D20, later version, um, also a little bit faster. Yeah. Mm. Next new aircraft we have is um, a rank 1 premium which is not really new, as you can see it's just the same as the F2A, regular F2A, but as a premium with the name of a famous pilot, um, nobody knows this guy and uh, yeah, special skin and you can get it for free or at least I got mine for free by just winning a battle so it's nice um, and every nation got one rank 1 premium aircraft Next we have the XP-50, this is a premium um, attacker, experimental aircraft, looks very nice, it's fast, has a good vision, maneuverable, and it has two cannons and two machine guns, and it's fun to fly. We also got the XP-55, which is a little bit unusual design. Um, it's basically a flying wing and the elevator is in front at the nose of the aircraft. So yeah, it flies a little bit difficult. And it's a pusher with a not that powerful engine. So don't expect too much, it's slow. And it doesn't fly very well. Don't know exactly why it's in. It's not that good. Mm. Then, on the German side, we got the rank 1 premium CR-42. On the Russian side, we have the Yak-15P, which is basically, well, Yak-3 with a jet engine in front. It's, um, yeah, a little bit faster than Yak-3, um, but does not have this good acceleration as a prop plane, because it's an early jet. Yeah, well, not that much ammunition and only one cannon, but very maneuverable for jet aircraft. We also got the later Yak-15 with two 23mm cannons. Yeah, it's basically the same as the Yak-15P, just one additional cannon, so a little bit heavier. And yeah, no difference in flight model so far. I tested them both and yeah, cannot say that there's a difference. We also got um, MiG-3 15, Series 15 as a new aircraft. This one is very nice, it's only rank 4, but it's very fast, it's faster than a 109E3. You can outrun a 109E3 with this. You have a very good vision, good visibility to all directions, um, Armament 3 machine guns and directly above the engine so nothing in the wing so you have a good line of fire good precision with them we also have a new leg 3 series 66 um, rank 6 and uh, yeah it basically just has more powerful engine than the other leg 3 mm, yeah we also got here Premium rank 1 aircraft, which is the I-15-3, with a nice camouflage. 
Snow White. We also have a premium Gladiator on the British side and a premium A5M40 on the Japanese side. Well, so that's it so far with the new aircraft. But we have lots of lots of new FMs, flight models for especially the US Air Force and the British Air Force. Yeah, basically, um, yeah, especially for the P-39 and P-63, they are faster now. P-38 is fast as well, it flies much better now. And P-51, yeah, it didn't change that much, but they um, remade the flaps for lots of aircraft. So, for example, on the F4U, it will not push you up in the air that much. And you actually have to use them. You have to use combat, takeoff, and landing flaps, um, flying and fighting with uh, the American aircraft, which makes it a little bit more difficult, but overall, they have a better performance now. Um, on the British side, they fixed the Typhoons and the Tempest, especially the Tempest was uh, not that nice to fly with this uh, slow response on the elevator, and the Spitfires are now much, a little bit, yeah, faster. They match their real speed now, with the Spit Mark 16 as the fastest Spit, um, 560 kilometers at sea level. Um, yeah, it's more an energy fighter now, so um, yeah, fly it like a focke wolf. But of course, it turns better than a focke wolf. We also have the Spit Mark 9, which is now really powerful. It's a good match against the 190A5. You have a higher climb rate, higher, better turn rate, and yeah, you can just dive away. <laughs> so. Yeah, basically this should make the British and American aircraft more powerful and of course, yeah, also aircrafts like the Premium Mustang got finally a flight model, so yeah, it was really slow before, now it's a little bit faster, but of course it's very heavy with the four cannons in the wings. And um, overall they reworked um, lots of damage models, so for example the B 17 is not that hard to take down now. It cannot absorb 30 millimeter that well. And um, also, your pilots and gunners can be killed more easily with this new patch, which is really nice. So aim for the cockpit and try to evade attacks from above. Um, we also got. Uh, recoil edit. I will show you this later. And um, yeah, some new features are for example the clan system. So you can actually now have a clan leaderboard and you can join a clan or found your own clan which costs 2500 golden eagles. In the clan you have a clan tag and a clan description and you are in the leaderboard for the clans. Um, yeah, don't know much or I cannot tell much about future development, but yeah, you can think on your own. So yeah, you have a clan description, clan tag, clan statistics, member list. You can request the membership or complain about a clan. Um, also, they added uh, new social features in the game options. You can link your um, Wathan account to Facebook to share screenshots and yeah, get a little reward if you do so. Also they added, um, implemented a software so you can live stream to Twitch without any external software. I never tried this, but maybe I will try this in the future. Yeah, despite this, not much new, but okay, this is new. You have this auto fire function, which will actually just fire your guns if you 
get close to the lead reticle in arcade mode. And yeah, <laughs> so you just have to point and not have to click anymore. Um, yeah. Mm. Let's see. We also got new physics, so if you crash your aircraft, um, it will realistically react with the ground, uh, with the ground, and yeah. And also, um, yeah, I'll show you the recoil. No, um, let's see which aircraft. Let's uh, 109 G6. Why not? So, actually, the recoil makes you, uh, if you're on the runway, shoot your guns, you're all backwards because of the force of the. Um, the impulse of the bullets and yes it also shakes a lot which is really cool and so um, yeah aircrafts with big guns have less precision now so yeah let's just shoot the guns and see what happens oh oh I don't want to roll Let's break. Okay. So this is when what happens if you shoot your guns on the 109 G6. Now let's test this in air. I have to take off first. Also the joystick it's much better. The joystick controls are much better now. More precisely. You don't have any wobble. So this is really nice. So let's try to shoot down this ground target there. Um, let's see. Should be going okay. And it's down. High recoil. So I'll just try stable flight and let's see. I'm trimming a little bit. Yeah, the, you really feel the recoil now. Which is very fine. And out of ammo all the cannons. So let's see. 